Hello and welcome to another video by the AM Academy. Previously, we've unboxed and calibrated the Einscan HX handheld 3D scanner. This is a hybrid scanner being able to use both visible LED light or blue light laser lines. What we'll be doing today is using the blue light laser lines in order to scan this little metal object. Now, metal is traditionally difficult to scan by, LED, by 3D scanners because they can be reflective, they can be shiny, and that's something that 3D scanners struggle with. So what we're going to do today is use the blue light laser mode, which is particularly good at this, and pick up this part. Um, this was mechanically uh, produced using conventional manufacturing techniques, but what we use the 3D scanning for is quality assurance. So we make a bunch of these parts in our factory, and then we want to see whether they adhere to our specifications, have the correct size, measurements, whether the holes are in the correct spots, etc., etc. And for that, we want to 3D scan the model and then compare it to the original STL file of it using a software such as Verisurf. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to select laser scanning. Well, because that's what I said I would do. I'm going to get the software big so you can see it a bit better. And then I will create a new project, just overwrite my test group right there. Yes. And I will get high detail or even higher. Let's, let's set it to 0 0.1. This is the resolution. It is not the accuracy. The accuracy stays the same, but this is how far the distance is between any two points in the point cloud. And in this case, my goal is to have very exact measurements of this part. So I'm just going to go for the basically ultra high detail where I set it even higher than it was before. Now I'm going to click the start button to begin my scan preview. I'm going to click the start button once more to start scanning. Um, and you can see it will then start picking up my model. Now, because I have this nice turntable, I can just stand right here, picking up the scan of my model and rotating the table. You can see that this right now is quite slow. It would be considerably faster if I had chosen a rougher resolution, but this is a trade-off between speed and accuracy that you just have to make. Uh, it does mean, of course, that you want to adjust this uh, depending on your specific use case, uh, and you don't want to scan any given model just with the highest accuracy, uh, with the highest resolution possible, excuse me, because it would just result in a worse scanning experience. So I'm going to get that corner there as well. This looks pretty good. Pick up all of these holes. Okay, I think that already looks pretty good. Got the top surface there. Yeah, I think, I think that looks like a pretty good result. Uh, you can see it was a, a fairly quick affair, yielding a, a pretty good result. Uh, there's uh, some areas that are haven't been perfectly picked up, such as right there, um, right here. So the sides are struggling a bit. What we can do is uh, we can let it generate a point cloud out of this already, and then I will uh, change the setting to be reflective because, well, it's metal and there's a lot of light, and I'll go over it again, try and see whether that fixes the issues that we've had during this first scan. Uh, generating the point cloud, as always, quite computer intensive, uh, so it might take a little bit depending on your computer specs. Shouldn't be too much longer, this is a fairly small model, but as I said, I, I put the resolution up pretty high, and the higher the resolution, uh, the longer this step is going to take, just because, well, the computer has more work to do. So uh, we'll just be patient and wait another moment. So this should be a good example on why not to raise the resolution too much if it's uh, not necessary for your use case or application. Um, so I'm going to set it to reflective, as I said, and then simply scan the model one more time, uh, same position, same everything, and uh, just see whether I can get a better result on some of these edges and sides, pick up a bit more of the surface there uh, to yield a bit higher quality results in terms of the final scan. So I'll move it around like this. Oh, not too close. Okay.
All right, let's see what the result is. Zoom in a bit. Uh, it's still struggling there, but the top is looking better. This side is a bit rough. Why is that? We'll try and get that once more. Let's pick it up. Now I will zoom in a bit so I can see that area a bit better. It's not picking up a whole lot there. No matter what I do. What if I turn this brightness down a bit? Oh, there we go. So it was just a little bit too bright. So that area there looks fine. And then I'll rotate, get the other side as well. Right there. I want to improve on this side as well. Play with the brightness once again, so I really get all of that. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, it should be fine anyway. If I had chosen a bit lower of a resolution, this wouldn't have been as much of a struggle. It would have been considerably easier. But we got there in the end. This side now looks quite nice. And um, I'm going to generate a point cloud. Be right back once that is done. Great, it looks like our model has done generating, is done generating the point cloud. As I said, this model back here now looks very, very nice, very smooth, uh, good result out of that scan. And this will now allow me to use a third party software such as VerySurf or any other inspection software uh, to compare the distance between any two holes, the shape of this bulge, anything like that. Uh, of course, um, in this case, I am limited by the accuracy of this scanner. Uh, the Einscan HX is not designed uh, to be a metrology device. If you are looking for something like that, I recommend you take a look at the FreeScan UE7 or UE11 if you have even larger models to scan. But, you know, as a first look, or if your tolerances aren't that incredibly tight, this might be perfectly acceptable to you and uh, be a very good uh, alternative to the more expensive FreeScan line. Uh, and the Einscan HX, just a very impressive scanner that uh, time after time yields impressive results, uh, really, that uh, I quite like working with. So I appreciate uh, working with the scanner. I, I very much like it. And as I said, it comes in a nice rugged box, produces beautiful models. I'm going to let the mesh generate and then be right back for that as well. Great, so our mesh is done. Uh, this is now our model that we could uh, work with and uh, that I'm just gonna save as an STL file so I can import it later into a third-party software such as Verisurf. Uh, Shining 3D allows you to choose different, um, different formats. I'm gonna choose the STL one. Uh, this is my, call it the Verisurf part. Uh, typo. Okay, that way. And um, yeah, you can see that the meshing took actually quite a long time. And this is once again, due to this very high resolution that I chose. And once again, it is important to reiterate, accuracy does not equal resolution. And the other way around, resolution does not equal accuracy. Uh, the accuracy of the scanner is always the same. Now, the only thing I change is the distance of points within the point cloud, making my model more detailed, basically, but the accuracy stays the same. Great. So um, that means I'm done with this part. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions or comments you can leave below. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos about 3D scanning, 3D printing, anything like that. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.